Hey, what's going on, people? This is Jay's point of view, and we're here to talk boxing. So let's talk. Andrew Ruiz fumbled his last big bag. And why is this? Well, because the man had his big next his next big fight coming up against the bronze bomber, right? Deontay Wilder. A fight that was sure, sure to get some good pay-per-view wise if it was going to be on pay-per-view and for sure it was going to get a lot of eyes on it why because it was a match made for 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 boxing it was a match made for entertainment and a good fight right you got Andy Ruiz a very very good boxer with good power speed right and then you got Deontay Wilder the Bonds Bomber that we all know all it takes is one shot for him to go put somebody night night, put him to sleep, right? So it was gonna be a big fight, but Andy Ruiz outpriced himself, right? I mean, let's call it what it is. Yes, Andy Ruiz had a Cinderella story type of event when he fought Anthony Joshua as a last minute replacement. Right? He came in, he did his job, he came out victorious and shocked the world. The man's the man's life changed overnight, literally. Right? Went from making thousands of dollars in his fights to his, you know, second fight with Anthony Joshua being offered upwards of nine million dollars. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, you your your life changed from one minute to the other. And I think we all know the story. If you don't, well, Andy Ruiz is one of those cases where, you know, you can't handle the money. So he got rich overnight and he just stopped caring about boxing. He was too busy spending the money. He was too busy buying the cars, being unfaithful to his family, which is, you know, Neither here or there. We don't, we're not here to talk about that. But what I, what it did affect, what we are talking about, is because it affected his his life, you know, in the ring, you know, because he just wasn't all the way in there. He wasn't all the way there mentally or even emotionally in the ring, which led to, you know, bad fights afterwards. You know what I'm saying? And now he had his last big fight coming up against, you know, Andrew, um, the Bronze Bomber. And he said, oh, I need 50-50. I need right down the middle. We're going to split that bag. And Deontay said, nah, bro. We're not splitting no bag. You're not 50-50, you know, worthy. I'm going to go ahead and bring all these people in. I'm the bigger draw, which might be true. You know, depends how how you look at it, you know. Uh, but I don't think it was a 50-50 split. I think it should have been negotiated a little bit more, you know. And uh, and, and then, uh, you know, work your way from there. Work your way on up with the bigger fights, you know. If you would have took out the Bronze Bomber, the next step is just AJ or Fury. But no, he outpriced himself, and now guess what? The man that he, Andy Ruiz, beat... Anthony Joshua, which is one of the biggest draws in boxing still, is now facing the Bronze Bomber. So, he he just fumbled the bag, y'all. He fumbled the bag. He's not about to get another big bag like this. This guy, this guy is a professional bag fumbler. I'm telling you. So, this is Jay's point of view. This is my point of view. Hope you share my point of view. And if you do, hit the like button. You know, you got something to say, comment it down in the comments. And subscribe to my channel, man. All right? Y'all be safe.